A big part of the job is looking for the worst in people. Turns out I excel at that. You a PI? I'm just trying to make a living. You know, booze costs money. Usually. Harry Ann, Kristen, thank you very much for talking to us at Jody. It's a real pleasure. Congratulations on Jessica Jones. Thank I've you. seen six episodes now. I've you have? I'm officially hooked. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, so to glad point, to hear that. The first scene between you two, I think, really sets the precedent for the whole show. Was that something that really jumped off the page as soon as you uh, you read it? Yeah, absolutely. I, I always loved all of the scenes um, with Carrie Ann's character when I started working on the scripts before we started shooting. Um, the relationship is really complicated. Um, and, you know, just to expand on that, the relationship almost with all of the characters is really complicated and nuanced and dynamic and very three-dimensional, um, which speaks to the writing. Um, our showrunner, Melissa Rosenberg, is really, you know, at the top of her game. The trailers in particular, was cool. it was brilliant. The second one with uh, Joan Jett. Is there one song that when you hear it, you're like, that's it, I can take over the world, and you know, I've, your superhero song? You know, I definitely like, I use music a lot to sort of get into a headspace. Um, that, that isn't what I would use to get into character for yeah. Jessica Jones. Like, I think I would was listening to stuff with a, a little bit more of uh, like a droning heavy beat, um, a little bit more uh, like emotional, um, but definitely like tough music. Mm. It's obviously incredibly cool to be in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well, but I think there was a demand for something like this that this is a lot more internal, a lot more character based. Was that something you'd, you'd both agree with that really uh, appealed to you? Yeah, I think um, also, you know, in, just in terms of television, the reason why you come back every every week, and in this case, just sit and binge, is, is usually your connection to character, right? Yeah. So uh, this, Jessica Jones is very, I think, relatable in her struggles because they're all very personal. Yeah. She's not trying to save the universe. She's not trying to save the world. She's really just trying to, like, get by um, uh, and lay as low as possible. And as well, uh, the casting is just excellent. So I mean, Carrie Ann, um, so was this something that really appealed to you when you when you saw it was pitched to you? Yeah, it was the whole the whole thing, the writing, yeah. the casting, the the whole team. Yeah. It's a very high quality um, group of people. That's the thing. So yeah. when when they told me that they were casting Carrie Ann Moss, I was like, holy shit! Like, and they said from the beginning that they were gonna, you know, get the best actors, um, and they really did. Like our whole cast, everybody is so good. They got Carrie Ann Moss, and then they they got David Tennant. It was just like every day. And even the day players, like even people the with a even line the or two, were like, I'd be just like, wow, it's it's hard to do, you know, to come yeah. in and have a couple of lines and be so good. Like they were all real actors, which makes uh, a huge difference when you fill in the world, you know, really yeah. well. Uh, you both have experience now, Carrie Anne. You're you're working with uh, Garrett on uh, Mind of Mind of Fire. Oh yeah. Working with Irish directors. Uh, did yeah. you swap any stories, or was any uh, uh, back and forth between you? Obviously, killing Bono with uh, with Nick yourself. Yeah, totally. And I I shot that in Belfast. Mm. Um, wait, I didn't realize. Did, have yeah. you you also did a movie in Ireland? No, but the director was from Ireland. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, so maybe we will after. <laughs> you have a reputation difficult to work with. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Maybe um, of having a Guinness at lunch. And just finally, a random one to finish on. Now your superhero powers obviously you kick ass. Would you rather bite a horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses, and why? The two of you. A hundred duck-sized horses. I wouldn't want to fight any of them. I know, I'd like to keep them all. animal lovers. I'd probably pet them and love them. Yeah. He's back. He's coming for me. Let's start now. No! Jessica, I'm the only one who matches you. But we're inevitable. The endless star, so wait.